Oh, welcome to Pinky's Travel Adventures mod series and uh, in this one I'm going to talk about shoes. So where do you put your shoes? Now it's not only shoes, it's thongs, you know, we take uh, water shoes with us as well. So at the moment <coughs> we have them in this, a double crate, soft, it's nice and light but you know, finding your shoes when you want them can be a bit difficult and it just sits in under there, under the hangover of the bed. But I saw a brilliant idea in the zone. You know, last year I, we introduced you to Lewis and Lorella zone. So they have a step beside the bed in this here beside the bed in this spot which lifts up and they put their shoes in it and I wow that is great because Tracy's a little bit vertically challenged and she finds it difficult to get into the bed so at the moment she has to put a foot on here to get up in the bed so if we make a one of these a step with lids on it we can put our shoes in there what a brilliant idea. So let's see how we can make that. I've taken some measurements and um, we'll draw up a plan of uh, what we're going to build. So the outline of the uh, the box or the shoe wrap, basically we're going to have a, a rectangle. It's going to be 700 long. And um, between the bed and the side thing is uh, 480 and I'm going to make it 200 high okay and then uh, so that um, you don't have one big lid to lift up we're going to break it up into three um, so that um, We'll have a, a hinge here and lift it towards the bed. So the bed is here. So we're going to lift the lid towards the bed. Otherwise you have to reach in underneath the bed to lift it out and that wouldn't work. So here's a bit more detailed plan. And so I'm going to put the hinges here. Have a fixed piece of wood across the top. This is the lid and this is a, a um, an edge piece about 40 wide this is about a hundred I'm gonna put piano hinge along here and so these pieces the vertical pieces I'm going to make out of 12 mil um, five ply and the lids will be out of 12 mil five ply and this face uh, the underneath face and this face, the back face, are going to be out of 3mm three, 3ply three three um, because there's no weight, there's no load bearing, that's just going to be to hold it together. And then we'll try staining it and if that doesn't work we'll cover it in carpet. So off we go to the saw. So I purchased uh, two sheets of 12mm um, uh, 5ply from Bunnings and it was pretty cheap. Um, they had a, a pallet of them, um, uh, one meter square, and um, had a sheet of three mil. So I was able to do both uh, boxes out of the three mil and um, the piano hinge. Well, I've cut the um, timber up into sets. I'm making uh, one for each side of the bed. And uh, now we start the assembly process. picked up this continuous hinge uh, from Bunnings 
I've got the 610mm length um, and I cut it up into three so that um, it's evenly spaced across the lids. So you just attach the piano hinge in the middle and the screws that come with the piano hinge are number one um, Phillips. So there we go, all finished. Well, not all finished, but all assembled. Now what I'm going to do is drill some uh, holes in it. Uh, this one is going on the right hand side of the bed. Um, so I'm going to drill um, some breather holes here. And uh, also a big one in the side. And I'm also going to drill uh, finger holes to be able to lift the, um, the lid up. Okay, so I'm going to attach these um, vent caps, covered vents they're called, from Bunnings. Not very expensive, pack of two. I'm going to put one there and one there. So we'll just drill an appropriate hole. Now we're going to do is sand off all the edges and she's ready to paint. Now we've finished assembling uh, all the bits. Um, we now just run over it with a bit of sandpaper. I'm just using um, 120 grade uh, timber sandpaper, particularly the holes, the finger holes uh, and all the edges. Just to get all the uh, the wood baggy bits off so it becomes a smoother, not so sharp. Sand along the edges. So there's no sharp bits. And now that the boxes are finished, I'm going to stain it with um, uh, the brown Japan uh, photo tint, proof tint. Um, and then when that's dry, cover it in the uh, satin clear varnish. Now I'm using this one um, because it's, I reckon, it's as close to the um, colours of the timber. Uh, well it's not timber, it's the whatever the finish on the um, inside of the caravan is. So whatever caravan finish you have that's what you should use um, or try and get as much as you can so I've not used this stuff before so hopefully I can do it now it's it's a wipe on let it dry a bit and then wipe off uh, and then it's set to give the right texture so we'll see how we go I'm going to use this old rag to um, wipe the stuff on and so I don't get it all over my hands I'm going to put some gloves on. You need to use this in a well ventilated area because it reeks. And the instructions say once it's dry to um, rub off as much excess as you, as you want to to get a desired finish. So. Here goes. I've obviously left it too long because it's not coming off. I'm going to do a, I'm doing a trial fitment of a, a shoebox step. And there it is. Now it's a bit darker than I would hope. So I'm actually thinking now I'm going to cover it in the carpet tile. Yeah. So I've made it the length of that. And stick your finger in. And it's a step to get up. 
There's a bit of a lip there, so I've made it that high to fit under the lip. But, um, yeah, let me get the carpet square, see what that'll look like. So that's the carpet square. I think that'll actually go a lot better than the, um, the stained timber. So, um, so that's what we're going to do next, is um, attach the carpet to the shoe step. Is that what I call it? A shoe step or a step shoe locker? Shoe locker? Shoe locker. Well, as I wasn't happy with the uh, the staining, um, and neither was Tracy, so we've um, gone for sticking carpet on. So this one's been done. Uh, it's been glued on with um, this stuff. Contact adhesive. Unfortunately, this tin is a bit old and it's a bit thick, um, and I only had enough left in it for one, so I'll have to um, do the other one. Now I've got to cut the holes in here, cut the holes in the fingers, and the two breather holes on this side, and then she's ready to go in. Okay, and here is the finished product. Um, we've carpeted it because we didn't like the, uh, the stain on the outside and uh, there we go we've got two breathers in there and we have a big breather on the side here and now we just put it into the caravan well there they are installed one to the left one to the right and um, got shoes in sandals and my spare joggers and over on Tracy's we've got a mess because she hasn't sorted it out yet and her joggers and and in this back one we've got our um, water shoes so I um, hope you uh, find that interesting a good way to store shoes and solve a problem of getting into the bed so you have a step built in and shoe shores and it doesn't take up any space any more space uh, in your caravan all right that's the end of this uh, episode I hope you enjoy it and uh, catch you later on the road Is that my imagination? Oh, it's, yeah, it's a little bit squashy, a little bit. Can't move. Oh, it's in there. Oh, it's the entrance, the so, what's it like getting into the bed? Oh, crack. <laughs> you broke it. <laughs> oh, so much easier getting into bed because before I just have to put my foot on that thing. So much easier. Yeah. So it's better if you, your feet are up, out the outside. Yeah. Very, very good. Hey, that's very good. It's so good. You've got one thong in there. There's one thong missing. No way.